Welcome back to the shack today, you guys. Today is Tenor Tuesday, which means we have one specific tenor planned out, which stay around for because it is heat. It oh, did yeah. drop recently. Sam just copped it today. Yeah. Um, we're going to go ahead and start off with these, and then we're actually going to be doing an unboxing. I ordered a lot of pops, and they actually came in today. So, but Sam, you want to go ahead and start off with your pop today? Uh, tell them what it's about. Yeah, sure. All right, guys, as you see right here, we got Russell Wilson. I am a Seahawks fan, as you'd expect for me having this pop. Um, pretty cool. It is the uh, the Super Bowl champion version, so he has the hat on, which I really like. Um, detail is really nice. I like how the jersey is tucked. You can even see the lines on there. Good artwork. Uh, I like the football, too. Very important, you know, attention to detail, something I really appreciate. Coming around the box, as you see, pretty basic. On the back of the box, it does have a, um, a list of all the players. The other side is a uh, just a picture of the pop. It does have a textured feel on the box, but uh, other than that, that is going to be it for this pop, and I'm going to let Cameron get into his. I just want to say, I actually really like the NFL sticker on that box. Oh, yeah, nice and shiny. <laughs> Love that it's almost like a hologram. When you look at it from different angles, it changes colors. Yeah. All right, for my pop today, I have Pickle Rick. Uh, Pickle Rick, me and Sam actually both own. Beautiful pop. One of the best episodes of the Rick and Morty series, for sure. We got it at the Funko Hollywood shop. Yes, we did. That was the one and only time we've gone. Yeah. Uh, very good attention to detail. I love the rat suit from this episode. Love Pickle Rick. Me and Sam quote it all the time, or at least I do. Going on the box, we do have the Pickle Rick on the side with the... Uh, what was the name? I forget what they called these cats. It's some, like, actual science name. Uh, like theory or whatever that's what these cats are on the box okay going back to the back obviously we have the family and scary terry young rick lori morty all that very cool artwork love the box i don't know i'm just a huge fan of pickle rick and this show in general um i think that wraps up these two pops mm -hmm. so with that being said we'll go ahead and hop right into the unboxing all right guys as you see we have the boxes up here these all are cameras and we do have a lot to cover so we're going to go a little more fast pace than usual but without further ado these are his so i'm gonna let him take control that's right you guys i'm actually gonna go ahead and start with the bigger box of course i know what's in these because i ordered them so i'm gonna put the little box off to the side because it's the most expensive out of these ones so gonna go ahead and get right into this box the reason i uh, actually bought these pops is because the movie these are from is probably my favorite movie of all time um that being ready player one so i know this box is like all in my face so i'm actually only missing two pops now because of this and we'll get into which ones those are but opening up the box you can see um i wish it was packed a little better i am expecting some box damage um but it's okay i believe in this box there's actually 10 so he packed them as good as he could obviously i like that he put the plastic bags right here because yeah. that was right down the center where i had actually cut the box open oh okay yeah hopping right into it i actually this is the parzival the uh probably the one of my more favorites of the bunch actually uh it does have a slight box damage on the left side of it going around to the back you can actually see all the characters overall beautiful pop we'll go ahead and set that to the side right now uh next up is the invisible parzival um i don't actually understand why he's invisible it might be like since this is an exclusive might be a callback to the book which i have not read um again slight damage to this box but what are you going to expect? These are old pops, or older pops, and they are bought on off up, so I can't expect nothing crazy from these. Yeah, unfortunately there wasn't any decent wrapping around these pops like there was uh, for wish. mine in the last video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out so you know what I'm talking about. Yep. Alright, next up we have the Artemis pop. Again, beautiful pop. Love this character. Love the entire movie. I swear, I've seen the movie over a hundred times. Uh, I, I don't know. I have nothing left to say. Uh, have Artemis the Copper version, the GameStop exclusive. Again, box damage, I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, trying to hop through these kind of somewhat quickly because we do have interesting pops to get to today. Next up being the Sixer. Um, I actually have the Glow Chase already. Mm -hmm. I'm only missing, out of the three Sixers, I'm only missing the normal Walmart exclusive green one. Um, yeah. I actually do have that at the AV Pop Shop, so yeah, that'll so probably be in a, a vlog coming up soon, or, to, or at least in a Sunday Showcase, something new that we get. Yeah, I'm hoping to get that soon. Uh, right here being Shoto Show, they actually did have a defect of this one. Very early copies actually said Shoto on the box. This one says Show, as you guys are seeing right now. These might end up in your face, sorry about that. That's all good. Next up, Sorrento. Honestly, I didn't really care for this character too much when the movie first came out. Um, but watching the movie back more and more, I actually really like the character uh, throughout the movie. Next up, uh, we have Daito right here. 
Out of Daytona Show, probably one of my favorite one, just because he actually ha uses the uh, gauntlet from the beginning of the movie that they were hunting, the Gregarious 120. Yeah. yeah. That was cool seeing him come down. We have H up next. Again, beautiful pop. Love the attention to detail. Oh yeah, the body's really nice. Love the body. This character in general, I was kind of mixed about it at first, but you know, a lot of these pops, a lot of these characters in the movies, when they first came out, I didn't really care. But as I watched it over and over, I cared more and more about the characters, and yeah. I've actually like fallen in love with the movie. Next up, I Rock. He was one of the cooler characters. Oh, he yeah. has a very cool body. Oh, definitely. Love the skull. Love that it's actually see through, just like in the movie. Overall, beautiful haul. That actually does it for that box, so we'll get that out of there. And we'll hop right into this next small one. This one was the most expensive of the bunch, besides the uh, Glow in the Dark Chase. And I actually... You got it for a pretty good deal, right? I did get it for a good deal, yeah. Um, I actually got this one for 15 bucks. I got the Glow in the Dark Chase from the AV Pop Shop, actually, so that was cool. Oh, yeah. Right. Um, this pop wrapped very well. He did put something right at the beginning so that if I cut into the box, it wouldn't affect the pop. And it is entirely bubble wrapped around. We appreciate that. Yes. This one, very clean box, not damaged anywhere at all that I can see at least. Uh, the back is a little indented, but that's about it. Overall, love this pop. I think it's a very clean pop. The only thing that's a little different, I wish they would have gone more with the movie route where in the movie, he wasn't entirely constructed. Yeah, he was still a little bit uh, deconstructed. So if they had like the hand and the leg as parts of the frame showing, I think that would have been cool. So to this set, the only ones I'm missing are the copper Parzival and the green sixer. Mm. Other than that, I own the whole set. Yeah, I'll eventually bring the glow chase on to show that one. But for today, that actually does it for the four inch pops and the mm. unboxing. We actually before we get into a ten or have a sixer mm -hmm. that Fresh just drop. dropped Fresh. just dropped today mm -hmm. so we'll go ahead and put these away and bring that one right up all right guys now slowing it down today's purchase i actually woke up on offer up because i went on and i happened to see this and i was confused and they were selling it for pretty high so i did check our local box lunch mm -hmm. and they did happen to come out with it this morning and let me show you guys right here we do have stitch with ducks very cool pop as you're seeing right now it is box lunch exclusive as I said earlier, very cool. Attention to detail is on point. Every duck's face looks perfect. The book inside looks very nice. Really cute image there of the duck being lost. Very cool pop all in all. Side, as you expect, saying what it is and the number. The back is really cool. I like the art here. Looks very pretty and you see the rest from the set. And the other side is just a clear window. All in all guys, this is a very cool pop. And um, it was a little ex more expensive than I expected. It was thirty dollars. So yeah, I honestly think this thing should have been twenty. Oh um, yeah, I agree. As six inch pops go, I don't think we've ever had. We might have. I, I don't really pay attention. I don't think I've ever paid thirty dollars for a six inch oh, pop. No. No. That might just be a box lunch thing. Um, I well, do. Have, I think it's because it's exclusive. That too. So I, I do know have, that bumps up the price. A I bit. do have a few things to say about this. Um, I think this was one of the more memorable scenes in the movie. Mm -hmm. So seeing them bring this out, beautiful pop. Um, I do wish though on the back, it wouldn't have shown the set because this actual set came out like years ago. Right. Like 2016. Mm -hmm. It would have been cool to have just a big picture of Stitch with the ducks on the back. Yeah. Um, really like the backdrop behind the pop it's kind of hard to see it yeah but nonetheless it's cool i can't really complain about this pop anything stitch i love i'll purchase it pretty much immediately i did actually buy this for him yeah so, so that's cool that he was able to do it because because i actually saw it on instagram this morning and it was kind of like you know what i'll just wait till they restock because i live 20 minutes away from the mall he lives too so for, <laughs> for yeah. him to be able to get there pretty quick and get this it was pretty cool because this is definitely going to be a oh, very hot drop oh, yeah, from box sure. lunch for a while. I'm curious to see since it was 30 and people already when I was on offer up selling it from 40 to 70. I'm very curious what it's going to be coming in at um, on the on the PPG Funko app. Yeah, me too. Um, if we're gonna make a prediction, I feel this thing will probably be valued because it's Stitch and Disney at 90 bucks. 90. Because I I know Stitch, I know Disney. 
he's definitely one of the more famous characters, and they don't make a whole lot of yeah. them. I, very I, little sense. I'm gonna say it. I'll do like 70, 75. I know the wooden tiki that is scented mm -hmm. is worth a lot. And I know that the scented freezy one is going to be worth a lot. You, they, anytime they push Stitch out, they're always expensive. The red one, Stitch 626. Scrump, I believe, is worth 40 to 60 bucks. Oh, and wow. that's just the doll that had maybe like five minutes of screen time in the movie. Oh, really? Yes. So this is definitely, in my opinion, going to be a higher end pop. Yeah. If not, I'll be wrong. Whatever. Yeah. But, some that's how it is in pop. That's game. how it is. Yeah, it's yeah. the hustle. But All right, that, with being, that said, being said, yeah. <laughs> with that being said, that wraps up this pop. Very fresh, very clean. We both love it. But the next pop is pretty gas. Just came out probably a week ago. Yeah. Very limited Roughly. stock at our box lunch. They actually restocked, and I'm pretty sure you got the only one. Yeah. I came so, in. Only one there. So we're gonna go ahead and whip that out and we'll be right back. Alright, you guys, for our tenor of the day, for tenor Tuesday, very fresh drop. Oh yeah. Very fresh. You want to go ahead and bring it out because this is yeah, your pop? I will. We have for you today 10 inch venomized Groot. Beautiful pop, guys. All around gorgeous. Oh, yeah. I don't think I could have chosen a better venomized yeah. uh, anything to have been the 10 inch pop for this series. Yeah, as you see in the close up right now, they have the, like, the mouth things behind it. I think that's really cool. I love the tongue. And, you know, just, just being a Venomized 10-inch is yeah. beautiful. I think that's something that is really cool. I do wish it was glow-in-the-dark. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've heard that from multiple people, yeah. that the green on this pop should the be green, glow in the dark. Even the white, I wish the eye would glow in the dark. Oh, it Seeing seems. that at nighttime would be pretty freaky. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty cool. But, um, as you expect, you know, go to the side. Venomized group face coming out there. On the back, couple to the set, but there is a lot they more They really map. didn't show very much. Oh, yeah. I'm they curious could... why they chose those ones out right. of the whole set. Yeah. And then on the other side, as you expect again, Venomized Groot down the side with a number. And um, all in all, beautiful pop, guys. This is huge. It was $40. I think the box See, lunch I might just be going $10 up for everything. I think I brought, bought another 10 inch from there. I'm not too sure. I only paid 30 bucks. Right. So knowing that this was 40, not an exclusive, I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Yeah. I don't know why. It might just be because it's a fresh drop. I wish we could unbox it. Yeah. But we're not like that. We don't yeah. We don't do that on this channel. This is one I'd strongly like almost do it for. Because I've it, seen it out of box. It's, it's oh, gorgeous. It is gorgeous. That does about wrap up this uh, tenor in the video. But before you leave, we actually do have something real quick that we want to talk about. Yeah. Uh, our plans for this weekend. I'm going to go ahead and let Sam tell you guys all about that. Yeah, all right, guys. So we will not be here on Saturday. We have a special vlog coming out. We're not going to be in the AV, as you'd expect. We have some pretty interesting places we're going to be at. Not going to spoil it. You will see it in the vlog. But uh, you got anything? Uh, the only thing, though, is that Saturday's vlog won't be out like in midday. It'll probably be out a little bit later because that's what we're planning for. Yeah. Um, Sunday Showcase will be out on time like normal, mm -hmm. so it'll be aired on Sunday at 11.45 uh, a.m. PST, so stick around for that. Um, like we said, just keep your eye out for when the vlog drops. Of course, we'll be showing it on our Instagram at Funko Pop Shack. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and follow us there. Stay tuned about everything so you can know what we're doing when we're doing it. Um, if you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and leave us a like and subscribe. Leave us a comment. Let us know something you liked about our video, something yeah. you didn't like. Let us know if you have these pops because they're pretty hot. Oh, yeah. Hope you guys had a good day. We'll see you guys back in the shack. Wait, we won't be here. We will not see you in the shack. Or maybe the intro. No, we won't. Later. Later.